Hi, boys and girls. Again, it's Miss Carol saying I miss you. And I'm here at the Boys and Girls Club, and I'm going to read you some another story. This is one. Here we go. The Mitten, and it says, Adapted and Illustrated by Jan Brett. That means that the author, I'm going to show you her picture. Sometimes a book will have a picture of the author in the back, and it'll tell you something about her. But it says back here that she not only wrote the book, she did all the pictures herself. So she's the illustrator. An illustrator is the person who does the drawings and the, and the colorings. So here's the picture. The first picture. And there it looks like the boy named Nicky. And it says here, once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. And what I see over here is, this is called a loom. And in people who make uh, yarn use a loom to spin the threads together. And on this side, I see the yarn balls. Grandma or mom had bought white white ball or made them on the loom so she made lots and lots of white uh, yarn to make mittens so she's a very creative person oh it's his grandmother because it says here at first his grandmother baba did not want to knit white mittens if you drop one in the snow she warned you'll never find it but Nikki wanted snow white mittens. And finally, Baba made them. So here's the picture. Did you ever want something really bad and you had to try to convince your grandma, your parents, somebody to get it for you or to make it for you or to do it with you? Yeah, that reminds me of times in my childhood when I tried to convince somebody to do something for me. So let's see what Grandma does. See, this is, takes place in the Ukraine, and look at that. The houses look very different from our houses. They kind of have, it's called a thatched roof. A thatched roof is a roof made of, of grass or hay or some kind of natural growing thing. So it says here, after she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. Can you see the mitten there in the snow? So then it says, a mole, I was right. Tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed, means he climbed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size. So he decided to stay. So here I see, if you look closely, you can see the mole climbing in the mitten. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten, and he wiggled in, feet first. So he went in backwards. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved, he moved over. So the rabbit, you know, rabbits have long back feet and they jump, they make them jump very far. So this little mole, he said, no, I am going to be very careful with this rabbit. I'm going to move over and let him join me because he might kick me with those big, long feet. A hedgehog came snuffling along. Let's see, I think that might be the hedgehog right there. A hedgehog came snuffling along Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, 
he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they moved over and made room. So here's the picture, the hedgehog sneaking into the mitten with the mole and the rabbit. Now it says, what I see here is a, uh, looks like an owl. And look at the, the animals in the mitten, stretching it out. Wool stretches, so let's see what happens. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, I was right, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinky talons, they quickly let him in. Talons, some birds like eagles and owls, birds that hunt at night and eat their prey, have long talons. They're like fingernails, but they're called talons. So they saw his long talons and they decided, we're not gonna fight with this one. We'll just move over and give him some room. Oh, it's a badger. Look, it's a badger. So it says here, up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumbs up. Come on, you can join us. So here's the badger, and they're gonna let him in because he's got sharp claws too, it seems like. Look at the picture. Look how big that mitten is getting. Oh my goodness, they're stretching it out. All those animals squeezing in. So it says, it started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air and a fox trotted by, stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy, which means he was feeling sleepy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. So there goes the fox in. And look what I see. I see the prickles from the hedgehog sticking out of the mitten. And the fox is going in now. They're all trying to stay warm from the cold, cold winter. <gasps> look what's coming next. A bear? Do you think a bear can fit in there? I don't think so, but that mitten is really getting big. Oh my goodness, look at this. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be. But what animal would argue with a bear? Not me. The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and it bulged to many, many times its original size. But Baba's good knitting held tight. Yeah. She's a it says, along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. Oh, with a tiny little mouse. He wriggled into the one space left and made, oh, she wriggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. Oh, look, the field mouse is on the bear's nose. That's a perfect place for her to sit. wonder what's going to happen. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers on his nose, gave an enormous sneeze. Oh, ha, The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered all the animals in every direction. Oh my goodness, look at that.
So now he looks like the little the boy is coming back looking for his mitten that he lost, and his grandma told him, "Don't you lose that white mitten." And here it says, on his way home, Nicky saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. So the mitten was blown up into the sky and the sky is blue and the mitten is white and he could see his mitten up in the sky. That must have made him wonder, what in the world is my mitten doing flying in the sky? So I see the fox and all the animals are kind of lying in the snow. Wondering what just happened? This is cute. So he catches his own mitten. Look. He catches his own mitten that's flying in the sky. And it says, he, as he ran to catch the snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First she looked to see if he was safe and sound, and then she saw that he still had his new mittens. That was lucky, wasn't it? What would she say if he came home with only one mitten? Yeah, we tend to lose mittens, don't we? And sometimes we lose our hats in the winter and sometimes we lose our, our uh, gloves. I've lost many of those because I used to live in the cold north where it was snowing a lot. Oh, and now I see all the animals flying around, the owls flying out. Oh! <laughs> Look at this picture. There's Baba, which must be Ukrainian for Grandma. She's holding the mittens. And one mitten is small, and the other mitten is extra large. And she's wondering what in the world happened to this mitten? How did it get so big? Hmm. That's a fun story. But at least he didn't lose it. Anyway, that's our story called The Mitten by Jan Brett. And she is a magnificent storyteller and a magnificent illustrator. Maybe you just learned a new word, illustrator, the pic person who draws the pictures. I hope you liked my stories, boys and girls, and I hope that you're enjoying seeing me every now and then. Because I wish I could see you again, and I'm looking forward to the day when we'll be together again. Together again!